Hi guys, how are you this morning? Um, well, I'm sure you've been following all my recipes on Yoga Life Me as well as my Instagram handle. And my main aim is to get you guys some really simple, easy recipes that you can actually try in this isolation uh, phase. And then guess what? It's best to actually carry on with them even after. Uh, the recipe I'm about to show you is an amazing immunity building, another one of those, immunity building um, simple recipe to do with red cabbage. Have you heard of kimchi? Okay, so uh, as we all know, it's really, really important to understand that our immunity actually starts from our gut. The minute your gut is well um, balanced, the, the flora, the bacteria in our gut are actually really healthy, that's when your immunity is really high. So there are a couple of things you need to keep in mind. Firstly, your gut needs to be very alkaline. The more alkaline your gut is in the rest of your body, the less prone you are to diseases as well as inflammation, as well as any other ailments going around, the viruses, uh, the bacterial infections, etc. So you're actually boosting the immunity of your body by eating the right foods that have the right probiotics. And this, when, when your food is high in probiotics, it's actually also alkaline. And the more alkaline your body is, the less prone to viruses, etc. The more acidic your body is, you get more aches and pains, arthritis, rheumatism, all the uh, different ailments going around, etc. So it's really critical for you to keep your gut really, really happy. So apart from taking actual probiotics, you could really be taking foods that are high in probiotics. And you know all of those foods. Um, uh, basically, it's your smoothies with the probiotics in them, um, all fermented foods, um, uh, one of which I'm actually showing you right now. So here's my favorite uh, go-to for when I actually need a, pro uh, a boost of probiotics. Normally, I would take this particular, you can take a red cabbage or the white light green one. Um, and this is great because it gives you all the different colors that your body needs, the rainbow foods that you're supposed to be eating. So you take off, let's get started. You take off the top leaves just to make sure that you've got um, no nasties in there from pesticides, etc. However, if you're buying organic, certified organic, then you're good. So here's what's gonna happen now. I've actually taken off the top leaves of this red cabbage. And what we're going to do is, with a very sharp knife, be very careful. Um, you have to cut very, very, very thin slices. And you do this for the entire head of cabbage. Just mind your fingers. Make sure you don't let the kids do this bit. But I will get to the bit where the kids can actually help. And they love this part. Well, not this particular one, but the part that's coming next. So you go through all of this, very finely sliced, as you will see. It's beautifully fine. It's really thin. And all of these will come apart very shortly. Um, because we're going to treat them in a beautiful way that makes releases all the beautiful juices now you know these are very high in vitamins and minerals because of the color they have a lot of um, good good biotics to give you I'm going to go through the whole head and finely chop it. You don't have to do the whole head of uh, the cabbage. You can do half, you can do save some for later. I like to make a whole batch of this and then it lasts me at least a couple of months. Depends on how much you're consuming. I'm on my own, so this lasts me a very long time. Obviously, you remove that bit there, the white bit, because that's not meant to be in the kimchi. 
So now fermented foods, as we all know, uh, have very, very beneficial bacteria in them, which help with so many different things. Okay, now this is nearly done. I'm going to be putting all of these into a bowl here. And then I'll show you what to do with this. <coughs> They can be a little chunky in places, like just the covering when you know you've got those bits, that's fine as well. You can cut them down if you want, I don't, but it just means that you can actually um, get on with it much quicker rather than having to uh, chop every tiny bit, yeah? So that being done, now the fun starts. So here's what we're going to do. The other ingredients I've got here, this is a very, very quick and easy, low ingredient uh, recipe. And really the benefits it provides you is uh, unbelievable. So I've got some curry leaves, yeah. I've got some red chilies and I've got some green chilies to be used later. For now, all we need to do is Himalayan pink salt Take loads of it, like a handful of it, if you see, yeah, rub it in. We're just going to pour it on here. If you have a bigger bowl, that's fine. If you have this size bowl, it's fine. Now, all you need to do, literally, for the next 15 minutes is rub the salt in. While you're rubbing the salt, what happens is this... Um, Cabbage is actually going to do two things. One, all these little bits are going to fall apart, so which is great because you want the um, salt to be um, uh, absorbed by all the pieces. Yeah. Now this can, that's one thing it does. Second thing, it makes sure that the um, cabbage releases water, and that is the magic point. The minute it releases the water, that's when you know it's starting to absorb the salt and that's when the whole process is beginning to happen. You can see already a lot of water is being released where the salt is being absorbed. Can you see the shiny bits? That's where the salt is being absorbed and the water is being released. So you just carry on doing that for a good 10-15 minutes. Now that's a really big chunk, so I'm gonna cut that further down because it's not gonna absorb the salt easily. There you go. If you see any big chunks, just chop them down further. And mix them up and down, like bring the bottom bit up, Make sure that it's well mixed, well blended. And you just keep doing this. At this stage, you can get the kids involved or you could actually be watching TV or something just to ease this whole thing. Or you could just be meditating and enjoying this. Sometimes it's good to let go of the electronics. I find this is no chance like right now to let go of what's going on out there and focus on yourselves, on your family, on your health. And then you turn it inside uh, up, sorry, upside down and make sure all the bits are well covered. Now here's another big bit which I'm going to chop finer. Um, you could bring the kids in at this stage because they love this part. They love getting their hands dirty, have you noticed? Um, anything that gets their hands dirty, of course, <laughs> make sure they wash their hands thoroughly after being in the garden or wherever they enjoy getting it, wherever else they enjoy getting their hands dirty. So you'll see it's all beginning to release the water, yeah? It's all gone nice and sweaty and wet. Here you go, look at this. It's all shiny, yeah? So we're gonna make sure it's all, all well, well blended. 
and then leave it for a few minutes but keep rubbing in the salt keep rubbing in the salt that's the secret yeah the more you rub in the salt the more it releases now in one of my classes what i've done is i've uh, done this with um, including turmeric powder now turmeric is great as an antibiotic so you could actually do that and rub in the salt and the turmeric however for that you have to be mentally prepared like you're going to get very yellow hands or put on gloves If you've got a bigger head of cabbage, make sure you get a bigger bowl or a bigger pot. Ideally, it should not be a metal pot, only because um, the juices actually interact with the pot, with the metal. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to add some more salt at this stage, just because I like it really, really salty. And the reason I use Himalayan salt is because it has its own minerals rather than being iodized and other chemicals and, you know, too processed. So make sure you know the right source of um, your Himalayan salt as well. Um, and once this is done, we're nearly coming to that stage. You'll see it's, it's beginning to release the water. It's amazing the more you rub it it'll shrink more and more as you see it's gone down in size because it's releasing the water and the longer you actually rub it the better it's absor the absorption so once this is done um, you can actually add anything you like. You can add cumin, you can add chilies, you can add um, you can add green beans, you can add onions while pickling it. So basically you're going to be pickling it in a jar. So once you've done this, what you need to do is leave it for a few minutes and hopefully you all have a jar. You need to sterilize the jar. Make sure it's very, very sterilized. When I say very sterilized, you pour really hot boiling water into it. And then you actually twirl it all around to make sure all, uh, all parts of that jar are actually sterilized. So that the uh, cover as well as the uh, rubber bits that are holding it together, holding the cover together, all of that. And you can add a bit of chili powder. I just like to add curry leaves just because they have their own benefits. And I like to add chilies because they're high in vitamin C and also because um, they add um, a nice chili taste while giving us the vitamin C. Whereas chili flakes you can add, but it doesn't give you the vitamin C boost as much as fresh chilies, yeah? So now you'll see this has all shrunk in size. Do you see that? So we're going to leave it for a few minutes. Hopefully now you've sterilized. What I'm going to do, my curry leaves that I grow in my garden are all washed and I'm going to just do this. My jar is sterilized as well and I'm going to leave this for a few more minutes. Now with the chilies you can take the tops off. Did you know that um, these chili tops actually have some good bacteria in them. If you were to make your yogurt, actually I should do another class on that, uh, homemade yogurt, you use these to actually um, introduce the good bacteria and make the, the yogurt ferment. Surprised? Yeah, so you could save these or get new ones when you're ready to make your yogurt. So I've washed all my chilies um, I'm going to put some in at the bottom and then we'll always shake it all up, yeah? Excellent. And we're going to give it another little rub. The trick is to have a lot of water being released 
As soon as the water is released, you know it should cover the actual cabbage once you put it in the jar. That's the reason to keep going at it. So you actually have some liquid on the top. The more liquid you have on top, the less likely there is of uh, your kimchi catching mold. Mold is always the uh, thing that we need to fear, yeah? Or kind of keep in mind, not fear. Okay, so here's what we're gonna do. Now this is beautifully, as you can see, it's beautifully um, soggy. We're going to place it into a well sterilized jar. I'll show you the liquid at the end so you know that there is plenty of liquid which will cover the top. If you had different colored um, cabbage, uh, the light green one and the purple one, you could layer it. I've done that before and it looks absolutely amazing sitting on your countertop. And you'll see all the liquid that's been released. You can, I guess you could see it there. Yeah? We pour all of that in there. And because this has been cleaned, I think wasting all of this, but yeah. And then you put in some more of these chilies, just to give it that zing and color and vitamin C, you could add more, you could add less. Just what your family can handle. Make sure if you're bringing kids in to help you with this rubbing process, uh, they don't touch the chilies. Now, instead of this, you could put basil, you could put anything, yeah? Instead of the curry leaves, I just like the taste of curry leaves. And you need to just press it lower. And what we're going to do, just for good measure, is pour a little bit of hot boiling water on top, just to make sure uh, that no nasties come in, yeah? yeah. And that's it. And this, my friends, is your kimchi. Within a week, it'll be ready for us to eat. And if you don't mind it not being too uh, sour and too fermented, then what you could do is start eating it in three days. Yeah? So keep watching this channel with Yoga Life Me and on my Insta for beautiful, easy, quick recipes that will keep you healthy and keep your probiotics uh, dose coming in and keep your gut healthy as well. See you soon. Keep healthy, keep safe and stay home.